I was born at night, but not last night. I understand it takes money to win elections, but that's not the most important point. Taking corporate money is habit forming, and once you mainline it, you're stuck with it, with very few exceptions. So we're not beginning the habit. We started 17 months ago. We didn't have a dime. We've raised three quarters of a million dollars, not a penny of it coming from lobbyists or corporate PACs, vast majority of individuals. Uh, who believe in progressive change. As we have more than a thousand volunteers engaged in some way. So many more House parties than all the other candidates put together. When you look at what it means to have 6,500 different individuals who've written a check or gone to SolomonForCongress.com and made a credit card contribution, it's mind-blowing to me to go down the list and see people who care that much, and that includes people who don't live in this district. Now, so many people who are directly engaged in a campaign, of course, they're in this district from the Golden Gate Bridge up to the Oregon border, but there are many people who can't vote for me, but they know that if and when I get to the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives, I can vote for them and our values, progressive values. We don't want perpetual war. We don't want Wall Street dominating Main Street. We don't want environmental degradation because corporations are so damn powerful. And that has to do with a commitment to say that democracy is possible. Because frankly, without democracy, we don't have a prayer of stopping climate change, of stopping Wall Street domination, of preserving our civil liberties. That's about organizing from the bottom up, and that's about democracy.